Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and in this one I'm playing with um, this book, um, A Dreamy Canvas. It's got the most beautiful collage images in it. Um, Nina from Paper Whimsy on Instagram sent it to me to have a play with. Um, she has a shop on Etsy where you can buy lots of downloads. I just love her, um, I don't know, just the way that her images look, the bright colours that she uses. It really appeals to me a lot. Um, so I want to show you how easy it is to play with. So I'm going to play in the large craft journal. I've taken a sheet that um, I really like from the book. I'm going to use this as my background. So I'm just kind of sizing it with my page just to get it roughly to the right uh, size trimming it down and then I'm going to um, stick it in. So I'm just tearing it down. I like to have torn edges. I think it's um, it just gives that kind of really nice effect. I'm using a glue stick to stick it in place, nice and easy. But um, gel medium, matte medium would work just as well with this. It's not a heavy weight of paper. In fact, it's perfect for collaging with. Um, and then I'm grabbing a, a girl from the book as well. She's very soulful, this girl. She's got that look on her face. I don't know, almost a little bit sad. Um, I guess the only thing about books like this is that you um, have to kind of like not waste, but you're missing out on what's on the page behind. And I think you just have to embrace that and think that's OK. I really like this image. And so therefore I'm going to use it. Um, I will keep the little offcuts that I've got left because obviously they've got this cool design on the back. Um, I can use them on another project. So that's also good. So again, you'll see at the minute I've used um, just paper so far, no stencils, no paint. I am literally just collaging into my um, book. Something that I've recently started doing is using a brayer just to um, help those uh, images that I'm popping onto my page stick down nice and flat, helps get any air bubbles out um, and it just, I don't know, just kind of makes it look nice and in place. Then I've grabbed these black and white flowers um, that are also in in the book. These are a really nice contrast with all the bright colours that are going on on that background. So I'm just going to cut a few of those out and stick them onto my page as well. OK, so now I've done that bit, I've just grabbed a Stubolo All pencil and I'm just going round one side of the body, adding a bit of a shadow. So what this does, it just helps to pop that figure out of the background, just so that um, particularly over those bright colours, it just helps it stand out a bit more and brings it into the foreground. A Stubolo All is 
one of my favorite tools for doing this and because you've got that versatility that if you want to you can water activate it and just soften those lines and if you don't want to then you've just got that nice soft dark line there um, which you can also smudge with your finger if you want to so then i'm adding a little bit of stamping using my dotty stamp which i have some of those available on my website too and I think these stamps are, oh no, I was going to use a couple of stamps that were actually from Kate Crane, the her most recent release. And then I often go in with a white pen and just um, whiten the whites of the eyes and add some little highlights on the um, face as well. And then sometimes I will also doodle onto the figure as well and elements that are on there. Then I decided I was going to write my words in Stibolo All Pencil. This is a really nice um, way to write as well, particularly once you've water activated it, because like I've said, you get those lovely soft lines. Um, so this this girl, her face, she looked like she was being very mindful. And um, I don't know, just that kind of she had a very peaceful look. And that was what that kind of made me think. Um, that it's important to have those moments where we're very mindful and, you know, just kind of looking out for yourself. So then again, just water activating those words that I've written on my page um, creates a really different look to using a paint pen. Um, it's a nice way to kind of just have a play with your lettering. Um, so I kind of just wanted to show you how easy it is to create with collage images like this. If you find um, someone that's designing them that you really like, um, it's just, you know, that whole th process of you're moving your hand, but you're not having to do any thinking about um, colours or, or um, I don't know, which stencils to use or how to colour the face. It's all done for you and you can literally just um, stick the things on your page and you've created a really lovely, fun, cohesive journal page. Um, and then you can do your journaling alongside. Um, there would even be space on that left hand side for some journaling too so you could write lots of thoughts on there so here it is here's my finished page using nina's book i'll leave a link in the description box to it on amazon um, it's a non-affiliate link so um that's just there if you want to go and find it so thanks for watching and i hope to see you again soon